Hello, my amazing artist. In this lesson, we will explore the exciting work of living pop art legend Takashi Murakami and create our own radial super flat flower design inspired by his work. Takashi Murakami is a Japanese contemporary artist. He works in fine arts media as well as commercial media and is known for his playful, colorful paintings, sculptures, and installations. Murakami is one of the most visible and important Japanese artists working today. Born in Tokyo, Japan in 1962, Murakami grew up in a household that placed a high value on art. Ever since he was a young boy, he has been inspired primarily by anime, Japanese animation, and Japanese comics called manga. Murakami knew he wanted to be an artist when he grew up. He was particularly interested in animation and comics, and he felt that studying art would help him improve his drawing skills. He enrolled in the Tokyo National University of Fine Arts and Music in the early 80s. Murakami's paintings and sculptures feature bright, candy-colored images of cartoon-like characters with large eyes and exaggerated features. His works are often decorated with smiling flowers, round, blinking eyes, and colorful mushrooms. His flowers are wildly popular today and can be seen in collaboration with some of today's top fashion and entertainment icons. In 2001, Murakami coined the term super flat, which is his own art movement involving paintings, drawings, sculptures, video productions, and other types of artwork influenced by his love for Japanese anime and manga. To draw our own super flat happy flower, we are going to be using radial balance. There are three types of balance, symmetrical, asymmetrical, and radial. Balance can be found in art, architecture, and nature. Radial balance happens when lines, shapes, and colors radiate from a center point, like a sunshine, wheel, or in our case, a flower. Let's get started. Begin by writing your name on the back of your cardboard circle. We're going to start by drawing the face with pencil in the center of our flower design. It can be cute or funny or silly. It's up to you. Then we're gonna begin adding the petals with radial balance. Start by adding two vertical lines, one at the top and one at the bottom, then two horizontal lines, one on each side, the left and the right. Next, we're gonna add four diagonal lines that radiate from the center point. In total, you should have eight radiating lines from the center point. We're gonna connect all of these lines together with a series of curved lines that go all the way around your flower. I'm gonna speed this next part up and trace with Sharpie. Have everything drawn and traced with Sharpie, then all you have left to do is erase away your pencil marks and you're set. All right, boys and girls, now that we have our Takashi Murakami inspired flower designs done, we are ready for color. Murakami uses bright, bold color combinations in his super flat flower designs to give them their own happy, fun personalities. 
Utilize the color wheel to develop a color scheme, such as warm and cool colors, analogous colors, or the whole color wheel. You can also create a pattern with alternating colors. The possibilities are endless. For this artwork, I'm using Bingo Daughters to paint my flower. However, you can use crayons, markers, paint, or color pencils. If you are using Bingo Daughters like me, just remember to keep a spare paper to test your daughter on and close each color before moving on to the next color. Bingo Daughters work best when you stamp them gently in a padding motion. I'm going to keep coloring mine and let you guys get started. I hope you enjoy this lesson. Have fun.